What's up Aquarius? Welcome back to the channel and let's get into your November 2021 tarot and astrology reading. So Aquarius, November for you is definitely bringing some tension since the tension is happening in your fellow fixed signs. So all of us with fixed signs, especially as our rising, are going to be feeling this energy the most intensely, and that includes me as well. So uh, don't worry, you're not the only one here, but uh, it could feel very much like you are the only sane person around in November. With Saturn in your sign, it could really feel like you just want to resist what's happening outside of you and a lot of external circumstances. It could feel like a lot of things are possibly resting on your shoulders or like you're being the responsible adult in the situation or that you are having to really be grown up about shit, yet everybody else seems to be just very uh, combative or instigative or confrontational or immature or unreliable or flaky in some way. You know, there could be a lot happening this month, especially with home, family, and your career authority figures, the things that you want to do in life, your worldviews, you know, like all of the things where all of the things that deal with like where you're going in life, your goals, your future, your career, your reputation, all of those things are coming into play this month. You know, what it is that you want in your life and how it is that you hold yourself back from that, where, you know, you have possibly people, whether family, bosses, or people in your professional life that are just seeming very chaotic this month, you know? And so it could feel a bit like a balancing act where maybe you're wanting to go very hard in career or your career becomes very demanding or your future goals become very demanding. There is just a massive force there when it comes to your future, your goals, your career, what it is that you're building in life, the legacy that you want to leave behind versus your roots, your foundation, your home, your family, the people you live with, property, all of that. And so it could feel like you are doing a little bit of a balancing act, like you are walking a thin line this month. And you could be putting a lot of the pressure on yourself too, you know, with all of this energy squaring Saturn you could be really putting a lot of the pressure on yourself that may not be necessary. You could be taking on way too much, more than you think you can. And so you wanna be very careful about that this month, Aquarius, because as much as you feel that you are responsible and that you can do whatever comes up, it may end up being too much for you. Uh, in some way, you may end up kind of filling your plate up a little bit too much. There's going to be a lot of test in November to your perseverance, to your endurance. You know, November, if I could sum up for you, is going to be a month of endurance. It's going to be a month of having challenges, having people kind of poke you or situations kind of poke you and you feeling like you have to be strong. You know, you feeling like I need to be holding this up. I need to be the one holding this down. I need to be the one securing this and I need to be the responsible one or I need to be you know, I need to walk a straight line. And some of you could just be feeling like, you know what, I'm shutting the world off in November. <laughs> like all of you guys can figure it out yourselves because I'm good. This is a month where you could find yourself kind of having to deal with things that you don't want to deal with or feeling stuck in situations that you don't want to be in. And it can be a little bit challenging, not going to lie. You know what I mean? Like November is a challenging month and that's just how it is, but you're going to get through it. It's going to be okay. You know? You can do this. You got this, Aquarius. So some other things that could come up are a lot of unpredictability or instability in the home life with the family, with the home, the foundation, the living situation, whatever, right? And so it could feel like, you know, I can't even make these plans for my future or I can't even do what I'm trying to do with my future because I have all of this unpredictability when it comes to my foundation, you know, like how can I grow this tree if I don't even have the land to grow it on? You know what I mean? Kind of thing. Uh, and so that could be another thing that is really coming up or there could be some things that come up regarding your home, your family that 
kind of change the course or the direction that you're headed in or that you're going towards. But all in all, you know, the first, you know, week or so, week and a half to two weeks of November with Mars moving into your 10th and squaring Saturn in your sign, it could very much feel like certain tests are coming up or certain triggers are coming up. People are getting a little bit demanding or a little bit overbearing. People are getting confrontational. People are demanding a lot of you. And as much as you want to prove that you're capable because you fucking are, you know, Saturn's in your sign and you're like, I can do this. You may end up exhausting yourself. You may end up going a little bit too far. And so you want to be careful with that because yes, you're strong and yes, you can handle it. But with Mars and Scorpio in this particular configuration uh, with Mars and Scorpio square Saturn and Aquarius, Mars kind of has the upper hand here. And so whether it's a shitty boss, whether it's just your career, your future goals, asking too much of you or demanding too much of you, whatever it is, you may sign up for or make a commitment that you can't all the way you know, give. And so just be wary of that on a month like this. Uh, it is not the month to make impulsive decisions. It is a month to take your time, do things the right way, do things the way that are going to pay off in the end, that are going to make you happy, that are going to build your self-esteem and not try to rush into something just because somebody else is rushing you or because somebody else is laying a problem at your feet and saying, here, pick this up for me. And you know, you can only do that so many times, then you're carrying around everyone else's shit and the world's resting on your shoulders, you know, like in this strength card. And then it starts tumbling down because you're like, you know what, fuck this, I'm not doing this, right? You just wanna be very careful of that this month. We also have the card home, which like I said, there could be some stuff coming up in the home family living situation where there's some kind of dilemma or, you know, something that is unexpected that you, that's kind of like out of the blue or that you're unprepared for. You know, November is like kind of a month where it's showing us where we're unprepared. It's bringing up situations that we were not prepared for and, you know, kind of pushing us into making changes that we're also may not be 100% prepared to make, but that's okay. For whatever reason, there's something in that that is going to pay off, that is going to teach us something. We also have the dragon's lair, you know, has possibly your home life, your family life, something there become a little bit toxic or is there something there that maybe needs to be reevaluated, removed, processed, or changed in some way? Now, this could also be where maybe something happens with work or with a job or with an opportunity and you have to change homes, you know, or just for whatever reason, you're thinking about changing your home and it can seem very scary with the dragon's lair. It can seem like, you know, you're kind of throwing yourself into this massive unknown thing. It could also be very liberating, thrilling, and exciting at the same time. And so the motto with the dragon's lair basically is no one ever did anything or learned anything or got to where they wanted to go without some kind of level of unknown, some kind of fear, some kind of, you know, shake up, whatever, you know? And so it's like to get to where you want to go, there's going to be a certain level of risk taking this month. Now, I wouldn't do it impulsively. I would do it in a way that's, you know, obviously very discerning and careful and you know that's kind of pre-planned for sure but that's kind of the theme here so we also have the four of pinnacles the nine of swords as well and so once again i really see this as you feeling a little bit unprepared or you being worried about certain security issues certain uh, stability issues within the home or family, feeling a little bit fearful about something that you may be unprepared for or that you are worried about in some way, or feeling like you're not sure if you can trust a certain level of stability in your life or a certain, you know, something that brings you security in your life. Like you're not 100% for sure if you can trust whatever this is, whether it's your career, your home, your family, etc. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is telling me that you definitely do have some kind of new idea or opportunity or way to go about this. Some kind of financial opportunity or some kind of new job or some kind of way to make something extra to 
give you some kind of more safety or security in some way. Sorry, I can't talk today. But anyways, we also have the nine of pinnacles, which we like to see and the two of wands. So like I said, planning, careful planning for what it is that you're wanting to do, your future, your goals, etc. It's going to be a really big deal this month, you know, figuring out which path that you want to take and where you're feeling does where you are feeling guided towards you know what you are desiring what what's the end goal here right where do you want to get to then we have the emperor and the knight of pinnacles which like i said you know being responsible and doing things the right way which is very much the emperor and the knight of uh pinnacles so you know this is taking your time slow and steady wins the race and getting shit done you know like i said it could feel like you're in boss mode this month like you're having to make big grown-up adult decisions this month or like you are the responsible one like that you are the careful one the steady one or the one that's like you know what i'm not dealing with any of this and i'm gonna go do me right like so this is a month for that aquarius it's gonna be a weird month where you're having to balance different areas of your life that are connected but also disconnected and having to kind of walk a fine line and keep your head steady and I think you're going to do it beautifully so I'm not that worried about it but I just want to give you some heads up of what's coming here so we also have the knight of wands which once again you know what I mean two knights in a row and the emperor tells me that you are going to be able to do this like you're you know, with the Knight of Wands here, I'm also kind of getting that there could be, like I was saying, certain people in your life that are kind of making demands of you this month or being somewhat like confrontational in some way. Immature, confrontational, flaky, unreliable, kind of scattered. Either or, I do see you making some big changes this month and kind of being put into like a leadership position or feeling like you are in a leadership position you know what i mean like you're taking the lead on something or you're completely backing away from it one of the two like i said before anyways aquarius uh other than that we have the new moon in scorpio on the fourth uh, this is in your 10th house, so by this time you're really going to see the themes that are going to be being brought up in the month of November with that new moon in Scorpio, so make sure that you're paying attention around that time. Then on the 7th, uh, and I'm going to do a whole separate video on the new moon in Scorpio, so don't worry, but and then on the 7th we have the Mercury-Mars conjunction and it's going to be squaring Saturn at that time. So that's going to be pretty big, you know, that's going to be in your 10th house, squaring Saturn in your first house. And so this is going to be a massive moment of possible truth for you or really pointed energy that comes in towards you that's like kind of triggers you almost or kind of like taps on you and is like, are you going to move faster? You know, there's like this energy this month where you're going to be feeling like, oh my God, I'm so unprepared. I need to panic. I need to like do all these things or, um, oh my God, I need to make these changes now. I need to do this now. But then it's going to be like, nope, you have to slow down. Nope. Now this is in the way. Nope. Like I have to do this the right way. But that energy around the seventh, you could notice it a few days before there could be some kind of sharp pointed communication that comes in, sharp pointed message or, you know, something that comes in regarding your work, your future, your career, authority figures towards you that really is kind of like, okay, am I going to take this? Am I going to, you know, power through this or am I going to reject this? Am I going to separate myself basically and so those are some things you could see around that time also on uh the 13th we will have then have mercury opposite uranus which is going to bring a lot of breakthroughs realizations shocking truths shocking uh messages or announcements coming out there's just going to be a lot uh this could be a time where you know <laughs> This could be a time where there's just a lot of unexpected activity going on within the home or within the career or your future public life, etc. So watch out for those energies around that time. Then um, on the 17th and probably even like a week before leading up to it, we will then have Mars opposite Uranus. And so that is a whole nother intense breakthrough. Okay, probably more intense than um, a lot of the other stuff this month. You know, Mars opposite Uranus is really going to push us 
out of our comfort zone in some way. And so in your life, there could be some kind of external situation that happens that is out of your control or that kind of forces you out of your comfort zone. There could be something that happens that comes up that is very random, unpredictable, you know, something like that around that time. So definitely watch for that. And you could also be feeling Aquarius, like you want more freedom in terms of where you live, your home, your family, um, or that you want more freedom in terms of your work. Like maybe you want to be able to work from home, or maybe you want to be able to work a little bit more to yourself instead of with other people. And then on the 19th, we have the Taurus lunar eclipse, which is going to be happening in your fourth house as well. And that is definitely going to be a massive time where you are kind of having major realizations about everything else that's happened this month and how it's all led to that point. And that in itself is a preview of what's coming early next year and also into 2023 when the nodes switch into Taurus and Scorpio. And so it's really getting you back to like what really matters, you know, what do you really value when it comes to home, family, your roots, your foundation, um, and what's of quality to you, you know? And so we're going to talk more about that in the lunar eclipse video for all signs as well. So anyways, that is what I'm seeing for you guys, Aquarius. Definitely let me know down below if this video ended up resonating with you. I'd really, really love to hear what you guys end up experiencing this month and if it relates to the astrology and all of that because it really just fascinates me. This month is insane. So I'm very interested if you're an Aquarius rising, especially to hear where you, what you see coming up in your life this month. So anyways, I will see you guys in my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.